Okay guys, this is your coach Scotty Hobbs. I'm going to show you exactly what I do every single day. I get this question. I remember when I was a brand new coach, I was like, I would love to sit with my coach and see what she does every single day for her business. So here we are. We walk into the office. <laughs> this may seem a little funny, but I want to let you guys know exactly what I do. Um, here's a little view of the office. Sorry, I'm holding this weird. And I'm actually um, moving my office uh, tonight upstairs. So we're going to set this down here. Here you are in your coach Scotty's office. So I'm going to show you what you, got, you guys what I do today. I'm going to pick up the camera a few times and uh, show you guys a few things. First thing I come in, what I do when I come in, if you look at that computer screen right there, it is off. And I leave that off until I finish the most important thing of my day. And that most important thing of the day is reading personal development. Right now I'm reading John C. Maxwell's 15 Laws of Invaluable Growth. Almost done with that. I just have a few more pages left. And I had a re uh, I ordered five other books, which are upstairs on my bookshelf, but this one just came in the mail today. After reading the quotes on the back, I'm going to read this one called Switch, How to Change Things When Change is Hard. Uh, I love one of the the quotes on the back says, if nobody listens when you're trying to share important information, this book is for you. I believe I have a very important message to share with people, uh, life-changing uh, opportunity, um, not only for your health, but uh, financially as well. So I have an important message. So I need to learn how to help people listen and to get important information out to people. So I'm reading this book next, which I'll probably start on um, tomorrow or Sunday. First thing I do, I'll, I'll show you exactly what I do. I turn around like this, I grab my other chair, kick back like this, computer's still off note so I don't get distracted by Facebook, and I read right here. Um, I used to read 15 minutes a day, I now read for a half hour to an hour. So I try to get up earlier and I read more because I want to be better and I want to do more. And I've seen a huge growth uh, in my business and my ability as I've taken on that that um, challenge to read more. So there's the first thing I do. I read my book. And I work from a list, but I, I've done it for two years now, so I know exactly what it is. So I'll show you. I come over, I turn on my computer, and this may seem silly, but I want you guys to know exactly what I do. Because I know some of you have been asking that question and want to know what it is that I do. Um, first thing is Facebook is up right now, so I'm going to go off that page. And I have the sound off of my computer so I can't hear that that noise when notifications come in so I don't get distracted and get on there. Um, when I'm reading my um, 15, well, my personal development book, I usually uh, learn something awesome. So I post a quote from something I learned or uh, post a philosophy or a lesson that I learned in a Facebook post and ask a question to interact with uh the people that I am uh, have on Facebook as friends. So that's what I do with that. I post something real quick on there. And then I go straight into my coach online office is the next thing that I do. So first personal development, second coach online office. Um, I'll bring this over here. Make sure you can see this. So here we are at the coach online office over here. Um, I have mine and my wife's open here. So I have my coach online office. Notice the Super Saturday event there. We're working on getting our coaches to the Super Saturday event. But I have my coach office right here. I come in, first thing I do is go down to my alerts. Down here, uh, 154 new coaches in the organization, 11 are inactive, one coach who's rank changed, five new customers. So I check the new customers, um, check out who they are, uh, give them a welcome email. A lot of these, we can actually go check, I'll show you right here. They are, and I don't want to show emails too much, um, customer program and success club program. So those are leads from Beachbody uh, that I got for being in success club and also for being an Emerald coach. So I give them a, a welcome email. Um, if they're success club lead, it means they ordered Shakeology and I got them as a customer. So I just send them a little email and ask them if their Shakeology came in the mail yet so I can share um a recipe with them and begin to build a relationship with them. So I check the coach online office for my customers. I check customer orders, which is right here in my business tab. Um, orders, customer orders. I go check those. So if somebody ordered a product or their Shakeology order came through again, I can give them a thank you note, which I always do. 
Then I come over, check the breaking news, look at the weekly forecast, um, and then check out the new stuff that comes up, like learning how to navigate the online office since the online office changed. Um, last chance to lock in Shakeology's low price. I always check those um, the stuff over here. And I want to share something with you guys. The national calls are a must listen to. You must always listen to the national calls that are on Monday morning. They're always listed over here, beyond the cup. You can also find them under events. I'm going to show you guys this while we're here. You can come over here to webinars and conference calls. And then right here, the third tab over, you have access to all of the conference calls from the past back into 2010. Of the national calls. Those are a gold mine. Successful coaches teaching you what they did and telling you their story. So, I check my online office, um, and that's that's this thing I do right after doing personal development. Welcome new people. Check out my success club. Um, you know, success club 10, 13 points for the month. Um, that's my goal to hit monthly. Uh, check the team volume. See how our growth is with my goals, and then, and then from there, we are done with the online office. I, I lo go to teambeachbody.com, and then I log, I go to Super Gym and log my te my um, my workout. So after the workout is is done, getting logged, and I leave my coach office. And I do that in my first business center, my second business center, and then my third. I go through those. Bam, bam, bam. Over here is my second. And after that is done, I'm absolutely done with the online office. I do the same thing. Customers. Check for new customers, check for orders, check for emails in there, uh, check the team growth, check how the coaches are doing on Success Club, which ones are close so that I can help push them on their goals. And from there, uh, same thing, I log my workout. After that, I move on to Facebook, the one that you guys, that everybody loves to be on, but which is a huge, huge, huge distraction to most people because you can get on and check notifications for hours and stock people and and when you do that you don't get anything done so I have to be focused once I get onto Facebook and I have to be disciplined to not click this button right here don't click this button until your work is done uh, those are notifications so what I do is I've I don't know if you guys know this but you can put groups oh, I gotta see if I'm pointing this in the right way over here, these are the, all my groups that I check every single day. You know, all your groups show up down here, but you can put them so they get pinned right up here at the top. And I'll go to one of our, our fitness groups called Staying Fit Family. And how you do that is you come right up here to this little tool thing and you hit Add to Favorites. And then it shows up over here under the the favorites right here so I have those all right there and there's two one of these I need to leave because it's our Disney group but so what I do is I go through the team uh, all the groups and it's like five minutes tops in any group so I go to my team page team dynasty then I go to my success club all-stars group and that is a group of my um, my coaches in my downline that hit success club every single month then I go to the East Idaho coaches, which are local coaches. And, and what I'm doing in these team groups is I'm just making sure all questions are answered, new coaches are welcomed, and that um, I post something that I learned in my personal development that day that could help other coaches. So I feel it's important to do that every single day as a leader so that you can be that example of being consistent and always being there for your team. Uh, so I go through all these groups. I don't name them all. The wall, that's for five stars and above. I have uh, some of my Coach Lindsay's top groups here. Then I have my challenge group and my challenge group right here. So I make sure to go in and do my challenge group assignment, post my workout for the day, check on my challengers, see how they're doing. And then I have a coach mentor boot camp called the Team Go Group. I check in on that, see how the, the people are doing in there, the coaches as they go through the mentor. And then... I have a couple other groups like my Team Beach Body Cup. We're in there motivating each other to with our goals. And then now I have, as I showed you an example, I have Staying Fit Family, our big support group on there. So I could check in once a day to that. So I, I go through those groups, go through all of them, staying focused. 
um, and getting in and out, you know, checking, posting, and getting out. And once I'm out of there, you know, these groups right here could take me a half hour to go through all of them because I go through it with, you know, laser focus in, answer questions, post something motivational, out. So I do that. After that's done, I go to my messages right here. I go through and I answer every single one of my messages. And the way I do it is I never open a message until I'm working so I don't lose any. So I, I come over here to more and go to unread. And then from there, I can answer all the messages. I go through them all and people are gonna respond and they pop back up to the top. I answer all the messages to make sure I get done. And then when I'm done with that, when I answer all those messages, I then come over here to my follow-up list, and this is very important. So every day, this is my notebook, to give you guys an example. I hope I'm pointing it at it. I'm holding the camera like the opposite way. So what I do is I have, uh, like this page is Thursday the 28th, so I have all the follow-ups I do. These are people interested in joining my challenge group, getting free fitness help, or becoming a coach, or new coaches, and I need to follow up with them. So I have my list of things I need to do every single day, so after I finish answering all those messages, I go through and do my follow-ups. And sometimes these people are not ready to join a challenge group, are not ready to become a coach, and we follow it up. You know, I follow up two, three times, and if they're not ready uh, to join, and, or I get ignored, which is normal, um, you know, I just let them know that I'm working with a lot of people, and I'm, I want to put all my time into the people that are ready to commit now, and that I'll be here for them when they're ready, and then I move on to the next to the next step. So I have a page uh, for every day. If you see, um, I have a page for Saturday, Saturday the 30th of follow-ups that I'm going to do. And then I have a list here of my challenge, uh, my challengers that are starting in our challenge group on the 1st. So I'll need to make sure to get that challenge group started. I commit myself to, I'll, I'll tell you that later on challenge groups. But so I go through and do my follow-up my follow list after that. After that is done, um, I'll, I'll put this camera down so I can talk into it so you're not always looking at random stuff but I have a goal board here which I'm going to um, rewrite as I move upstairs today and this evening but I have all my goals there um, coaches diamond goals income goals and all of that so I'm gonna switch this around right here sorry you guys uh, had to look at like paper and it was probably pointing at the floor most of the time but we'll get it figured out so here we are um, and, and I'm not going to edit this video because I want you guys to know that it's okay to post a video and it doesn't have to be perfect. So anybody can make a video um, as you become a coach and you want to teach others and, and show them some tips and, and things to help with that. So that's what I do every day. Um, a few things I add onto the list after that is throughout the day. You guys saw that I do one Facebook post in the morning uh, after my personal development. I share a success story. Um, usually at least three times a week. And I like to share stuff that, you know, I post on Facebook. This is one of my to-do things. Post on Facebook something every day, uh, three to five things. And only one is going to be Beachbody related. The other four are like something funny, motivational, or family stuff. So I do that to keep a captive audience and to be consistent. And so that is one of the things I do after this list is done, to continue, continue doing that throughout the day. Now, as far as exposures, um, you know, I've been doing this for two years now, so of course the warm market. <laughs> I've already gone through all of that, and I never push anybody, don't bother anybody. I just let them know I'm here to help them find out their goals, offer them. If they're not ready, that's fine. I'll continue leading an example, and when they're ready, they'll join. But the ways that I find people... Uh, to help in the future so I never have to worry about hitting my goal of Success Club 10 every month. I have a goal of uh, running a challenge group every two weeks I start a new group and I let my new coaches be in those groups so that they can mentor, so they can be mentored, they can see how I do them, they can have their first few challengers in that group. So I do that, um, I run two a month, that way my new coaches can join in with me and along with that um, I have Success Club 10 as my goal for me and five for my wife Gabby so technically it's a success club goal of 15 per month 16 success club points so that's what I do um, as far as finding people um, you know eventually you're gonna run out of your warm market you you talk to people you get referrals um, from your challengers and a whole bunch of other things and then also from there 
Um, I use Instagram. I post pictures about fitness, nutrition, motivational stuff, family stuff, and, and put lots of hashtags on it so that people can find me. And I, I just do small things like that every day. And then on Facebook, uh, we're able to attract people in with sharing success stories, um, being consistent, sharing motivational stuff, inspiring stuff, living a happy lifestyle, you know, that attracts people that want that type of lifestyle. So it didn't happen right away. I had 200 friends when I started and now we have over, you know, over 5,000 and followers, but it all started, um, with just starting to share that passion and, and attracting people in. But other ways that I've, I use, I use YouTube making videos like this. Uh, I do it with fitness stuff and beach body coaching stuff. I also am part of a band, so we have band stuff, and people look at my band stuff and then see my Beachbody videos on there. Um, I started a website, a blog. If you are a coach on our team and you don't know this, um, shoot me a message, but I have a PowerPoint presentation that walks you through setting up a blog like mine. Mine is www.scottyhubs.com. It's a WordPress blog hosted by GoDaddy. So. I blog in there, I share success stories from our Beachbody Challenge groups, I share new products, I share motivational stuff, I share fitness tips, nutrition tips, and that's a way to get out in the world a little bit more, more people are able to find you that way. And it's one of those things that doesn't happen right away. You know, you gotta just start posting, um, start creating um, blog posts, sharing, and, and then, you know, eventually over time as you do that consistently, you begin to get a following and people go to your blog for, for motivation or, you know, to see the transformations and it's and it's inspiring for them like that. I'm a little bit distracted on this video because I have a text message that popped up on the screen and I can't see myself on there. <laughs> but that's what I do. Um, and as far as exposures, you know, I do those exposures online through referrals and through finding people in Facebook groups and and different support groups, but I have uh, here some people I met while out the other day. So what I have to do is to make sure to make my new exposure. So I write these people. I, I met them briefly, told them a two-minute story uh, of what I'm doing, and told them that I would send them some information. So there's my exposures, and it wasn't comfortable for me at the beginning to talk to people, but it just takes practice in doing it over and over and over again. So that's my list of things to do. I'll put a link to my blog post that has the actual list written out. Um, but that's what I do every single day. And I set my hours because this is a business you could work 24 hours a day. So when I'm done with my hours, I shut off Facebook and I move on. So for example, I'm done with Facebook today. There's uh, 15 new messages that have come in since I stopped working. And I'm not gonna answer those today because I'm done working. I didn't create this business. I created this business for freedom, not to work 24 hours a day. So I set my hours, I do my list, and I finish. And those questions will be there for me to answer tomorrow when I come in. And I got my daughter here with me. <laughs> but uh, um, it's awesome being home working. But that's what I do for my list. And one other thing that's not on this that I didn't show you, like I said, I'll post a link below for this. But what I do is I send out one text or one or do one phone call and leave a voicemail or talk to them if they answer just to one person randomly sometimes two every day and share and just to be an influencer in their life to encourage them to be better to that I believe in them and that's just helped just to be that person and I do that uh, every day so that's what we do and I'm home with Kina can you give them a smile and say hi Hi. Kina just got home from school, so she came to say hi to me. But that's what I do. Uh, in the description below, I'll put a link to my post that has the 10 things that I do every day. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions, post on the, comment on this video, and I'll make sure to answer it. And hopefully I didn't miss anything. That's what I do. Okay, see you guys.